Hi, I'm Simon. I'm one of the authors of the Datadiff project, which I want to show you today. So Datadiff is a CLI and a Python API to efficiently diff rows across databases. Instead of using a count or downloading every row, it uses a checksum based approach to identify the rows that are missing and print them out for you. So we start here by installing, installing Datadiff with a Postgres and Snowflake driver. That's what we're going to test now. We have a source of Postgres that we're replicating somehow into Snowflake, and we want to make sure that the two are the same. Now we have the Datadiff CLI installed, and then we can start writing out the command. So here we have the source is, this is an environment variable that has to URI for a local Postgres. We have this table with 10 million rows. Datadiff supports way more than 10 million rows. It can do hundreds of million, billions, even trillions of rows in respectable time. Um, it takes a few seconds per, per, per million. So a couple billion rows takes just a few minutes. Snowflake is the same table with also 10 million records. Those are the two we want to check. We pass verbose here because we want to see some nice output. And then in addition, there's a timestamp column in addition to the ID. So we also want to check that. The name of that column is call, and that's just a timestamp. By default, Datadiff only checks the ID column to see whether there are missing rows on both sides, but we can add more columns to check those as well. So now it starts going. We can see here that Datadiff divides the two databases into do two database tables into 32 segments at checksumming each. In just six seconds, it was able to checksum absolutely everything in parallel and make sure that there were no discrepancies between the two. Now, this one is not that interesting because there were no discrepancies. I've created another table in Snowflake where I've deleted just a single row from the table from before. Now, we also want to it disable the threading because now we start to see the recursion take place because one of the segments is different. So as we get to the middle segment here, you will see that that segment was different. The checksums didn't line up between Postgres and Snowflake. So then it divides that into an additional segment until it finds the row that's different. This is much faster still than downloading every row. That's Datadiff for you. What Datadiff can also do is it can print stats. So it can just tell you how many rows are different between the source and destination, which is useful for SLOs, alerting, and so on. We support many different kinds of databases. You can go through the readme here and see the types of databases that we're supporting. We hope that many of you are going to contribute and add more drivers um, beyond just SQL. We're hoping to extend into Elasticsearch, Kafka, and other landscapes like that. Thank you very much, and we hope you enjoy Datadiff.